Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Katie. I'm a freelance editor and an indie author, and we're starting this vlog at a very weird time. It is Tuesday night, six o'clock to be exact. Um, I actually just got back into town. I was out of town for the past four days, which was not planned. My parents came into town on Saturday because they had their mail held here during their move and stuff. So they came to pick up all that and just to say hi. They've officially moved into their new house. And when they were here, they were like, do you want to come back with us? And I hadn't planned on doing that, but I decided what the heck, I packed up all my stuff. I packed up the cats. And we went and stayed at my parents' new house for the last four days. They don't, they didn't have any of their furniture yet. Their furniture just got there today. So I was sleeping. They had like half their furniture. So if you've been around it, for my videos for years, the black couch that I had in my room at my parents' house, it's a futon. So I just folded that down and that's what I slept on the past four days. The cats went on their very first road trip and they were actually very good in the car. And I just took my laptop and I did my editing work up there. So we just got home today after four hours in the car. So I don't know why I thought I wanted to start a vlog tonight, but that's what we're in the mood for. So welcome. So even though I did take my laptop up and I got some work done while I was there, I do have like, I didn't get as much work done as I would here. So I have a lot of editing stuff to do. And then also I got to come home to all of my books got delivered. I ordered a ton of my own books to restock my signed books in my shop. I sent out a newsletter about it, so that's some of them that have been ordered. More orders have come in since then, but I restocked on the Sweetest Kind of Poison and the Anti-Virginity Pact, and then I also got a ton of copies of Poems for the End of the World. So as you can see, Sweetest Kind of Poison is already sold out. I'm down to the last four for the Anti-Virginity Pact, and I have quite a few of poems left because I knew I wanted to stock up a lot on those. I only ordered a couple of copies of The Sweetest Kind of Poison because I wasn't sure like if I needed a ton because that's my first book. It's been out forever. I just have these stacked so I could make sure I had enough mailers and try to find a copy. Here's one. Thank you whoever bought all three. <laughs> but yeah, I only ordered um, maybe eight of these or something and I did not expect them to sell out literally within five minutes of me making the announcement that they were available again. So apparently that was something people wanted and I didn't realize it. So if you missed this restock of The Sweetest Kind of Poison and you wanted a signed copy, I'm thinking I'm gonna put a form down below just as like a waiting list where you'll just like give me your email and I can get a sense for how many people wanted them and didn't get them this time and then I'll know how many to order for the next restock. So if you want to be put on the waiting list for the next restock of the Swiss Kind of Poison and then I'll email you and you'll be the first to know so you can get them before they sell out next time. Uh, check the link down below in the description. I'm sorry if you're disappointed. I didn't realize that was a thing people wanted. But anyway, thanks so much if you've made an order. We're gonna um, pack all of those up. I like to like wrap them in tissue paper and put stickers and stuff and I still need to sign them all. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Take them, maybe half of them to the post office. We'll do it in waves. And for now, I'm putting Twilight on and I'm just gonna sit here and work on editing stuff. Today was a deadline for one of my projects so I sent that off to my client. I have two deadlines next week, so we gotta finish these two projects and I'm getting a new project sent to me tomorrow. And um, we're down to about a week left to finish the draft of my book before I send it to beta readers, so we also really need to do that. So yeah, welcome to the new vlog. Um, hopefully I look better in the next clip. I was in the car for four hours today, so this is all we're working with. I'm gonna turn the movie on and hopefully make some more progress in this copy edit. I'll talk to you later. Also, I should have said, um, if you want to grab some of the leftover signed books, the link to my shop is down below. It's just on my website. And every order gets my bookmarks. And there's a spot, hi <laughs> Dino, hi Max, they're very happy to be home. On the website when you order a book, you can put if you want it personalized and what name you want. If you want other personalization, you can put that in that box too. Someone requested that I draw my cats in their book, which I did. It was not a good picture of the cats, but there was a sketch of Max and Dean in her book. Editing is going well. It's a little after seven. Um, my eating schedule has been so thrown off these past couple of days, so I'm gonna make some dinner. I think we're gonna make some vegan mac and cheese and broccoli. I'm working late, obviously, on editing client stuff because I found that I have a hard time doing my own writing and editing work for clients in the same day because it's like such similar work 
that when I spend all day editing for clients, when I try to edit my own book at the end of the day, like I'm just feeling like burnt out with like that part of my brain, if that makes sense. So what has been working better for me is I have a full day of editing for client stuff and then I have a full day of working on my own book. Um, I might do like a little bit of one or the other the other day, but it's kind of nice to separate them into totally different days. So I'm trying to make a ton of progress with editing tonight so I can mainly focus on my own book tomorrow. That's the goal, at least. So now we're gonna go make some dinner. And Dean is just happy as can be. I think he's happy to be home. They really liked being in my parents' house because it's a really big place, so they had a lot more space to explore and roam around, but um, they were scared the first day. They didn't want to come out from beneath the furniture and with the dogs there. The dogs, some of the dogs have never seen a cat before or never really interacted with cats. Bentley, my dog, we had cats during his lifetime, so he's like kind of chill about it. Especially Gizmo, who's only like a year or two old, he has no freaking clue what a cat is, and he also has no boundaries, and he just wants to play, so he kept charging the cats, but by the end of it, Dean kind of showed him who's boss. But I think both he and Max are happy to be home. Max, I don't know if you can see her back there. She's on her back. I think we all know Max likes to lay on her back with her feet in the air. She's kind of famous for it. Like this. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea how happy this makes me. She hasn't laid on her back in four days because she didn't feel safe or comfortable enough at my parents' house. Oh, I'm so happy you're happy again. Yeah, I think she had a good time, but she didn't feel totally comfortable there. I missed just seeing her all splayed out. Ooh, you know what? We're not gonna have mac and cheese. This hair is an interesting look tonight. I'm gonna make plant-based chicken noodle soup. If I have some bread, maybe I'll make a grilled cheese. That sounds really good. <laughs> everybody happy Wednesday I guess it's afternoon it's exactly 12 o'clock I just finished my workout and got out of the shower and now we're getting ready to pack some signed books I just started listening to the invisible life of Addie LaRue today this is our book club pick for today or for this month so I'm currently 45 minutes into the audiobook and I'm really really liking it so far so I think we're just gonna set up here and start packing things up I'm gonna need to gather some more supplies I'll probably listen to my audiobook while I do it or maybe put some YouTube videos on the TV as of now I think I have 26 books to pack, but we'll see. So we're gonna take our bookmarks and stickers. What do you think, Maxine? These aren't all of the orders, so I'm gonna have to go back in there and get some more books later. But we'll start with these. It's 12 o'clock, so we'll see how long this takes. Um, I wanna work on my own book today. I have a video to film, like a sit-down video. And since NaNoWriMo is next month, I would like to get cracking all my like Preptober stuff and start planning the novel I'm gonna write next month. Cause I keep going back and forth. Like I can't really decide what I wanna focus on. So I've been toying with the idea, if you were around last November, I actually did two projects in November. I wrote, funnily enough, I wrote Poems for the End of the World, and then I also write, wrote um, a novel. And so that was kind of fun, writing a poetry collection and a novel in the same month, and it was doable. I, I was writing like one to two poems every day, and then the standard word count for the novel. So I think, I, like I was saying in a recent video, I started writing poetry again, and it's funny. It's been the same process for both of my poetry collections so far. I came up with the title first, and then I wrote the collection around it. I've come up with a title for the third collection and now I'm just writing the poetry. So I'm thinking for NaNoWriMo this year, I wanna keep working on this new poetry collection and then also write a novel like I did last November. So now I just need to decide what novel I'm gonna work on and do some more planning and outlining before November comes around. So that's also a goal for today, but also just for all month. So I need my little scale to weigh my packages and let's get started. Hello. It's been over an hour. It's past one o'clock now. 
These are really slippery. I'm having a really hard time holding onto them. These are the ones that we have done so far. It doesn't really look like much, but I've been sitting here for an hour working on these nonstop. It just takes so long. I still have 10 more orders to do, but I need a break. The good news is I was letting my hair air dry while I was sitting here and now it's done. So now I can go do it and maybe we'll go film our sit down video. I'm now two hours into the audiobook and I'm really, really liking it so far. If you wanna read the book with us this month, I'll have my book club link down below. I'm thinking I'm gonna run out of tissue paper. That, I had so much too, that's the problem. So maybe when I take this first wave of stuff to the post office, I'll stop at Target or something and get more tissue paper and then we'll send out the second wave. Hello, it is now two o'clock. I just finished filming my sit down video. I think it went really well. I'm gonna try and get that edited today too. It was basically just a collective TBR video for the rest of this year, basically all of the books that I wanna get to before the end of the year. And I actually think it's very doable. I think I'm gonna read these books, you guys. I was saying I was gonna focus on just editing my book today and it's two o'clock and we haven't even touched it yet, but there's so much to do. I think editing this video I just filmed is first and then we'll get to editing my book. You wanna see the cats, they're being very cute. They love when I film because I open up the window for light and they love sitting in the open window. And we were very good. We weren't even making noise while mom was filming like usual. Our past relationship was a disaster, but now I don't care. Cause you took my my camera is dying, so hopefully I can give you this update before then. It's now 3.15, I just finished editing this video, so I'm gonna export it, upload it, all that kind of stuff. I don't know where the day is going. It's already 3.15 and what have I done? I don't know. I certainly haven't just been like hanging out and wasting time because I'm exhausted. I feel like I've been going nonstop all day. So I need to like stop staring at a screen for a little bit. So I think we're gonna take a break. I'm gonna go back to listening to my audiobook and just do some stuff around the house, like laundry and stuff. And then I keep saying we're gonna get to my book haven't done it yet but I think it's because I've been putting it off you know what I wanted to have this whole chat with you guys let me get my new battery and we'll chat I can't believe I almost forgot because I literally made a note to myself on my phone of two things I wanted to talk about in this vlog so first thing because I have my signed books around me I'm sorry because I got some DMs and messages from people who had ordered the book when it came out like a physical book and not realizing that I was gonna come out with signed books and they were kind of disappointed. So first of all, if that happened to you, I'm really, really sorry about that. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the best way to go about doing signed books for a couple of different reasons. For one thing, um, it's just not ideal to do signed books right when the book comes out um, and then have people wait to order the book that way instead of through the vendors because it hurts the book's release in that it doesn't rank is high on the different vendors because people aren't buying it through them they're buying it through me directly so then people who aren't following me like through youtube don't find the book because it's not as visible on the site and it's just kind of this like snowball effect where um, I make way more royalty wise from the signed books because Amazon or where wherever isn't taking their chunk of the book anymore so like monetarily it's more beneficial but it hurts the book's release in its visibility and other people being able to find it, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like a catch-22, and I know some people would rather have the signed book than the regular book, so that's one thing to keep in mind. And then also, I can't even order my author copies until after release day, because I get them from Amazon. And for whatever reason, Amazon will not let you order author copies until the book is live. So, and then the printing process for author copies is actually even slower than if you were to order from Amazon. So like, if you go and order the book from Amazon, it'll print it that day or the next day and it'll ship out to you within like one or two days if you have Prime. If I order my author copies, it tells you, okay, we'll probably start printing the books in about 10 days and then you don't get Prime shipping. So you'll probably get it in like another week or two after that. So it can take like a whole month before you get your author copies. So um, that's what happened with the Anti Virginity Pack. That's why it took so long for me to get them. And the only reason why I have copies of Poems for the End of the World so early is because I don't think very many of you realize this. A couple of people bought the book, but I don't think it wasn't like widely known because I didn't announce it. The book accidentally went live way before the release day. So I was able to order the author copies really quick when it went live by accident and then take it back off of the site. So I actually ordered them about two and a half weeks before release day and then I ended up getting them like a week afterwards. So anyway, like I can't do the signed copies immediately because I don't have the books yet. So it's like this whole thing. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the best way to go about doing signed copies is. I'm very, very grateful and honored that anyone is even interested in getting signed copies. So thank you so much. But if you were disappointed by that or frustrated by the process, I'm really sorry. I'm 
trying to figure out the best way to go about doing that now. There just doesn't seem to be any good <laughs> solution other than waiting and maybe not even doing signed copies until months after the book release instead of trying to fit it in near the book release. Um, that's something I'm gonna figure out a different process before the next book release. I just haven't figured out what that process will be yet. Second topic, um, I'm sorry, I'm realizing you might be able to hear this because it's exporting the video and sometimes it makes a lot of noise, so maybe we should just wait for that. This video, um, I'm on a timeline because I have to send it to the brand to get it approved and then post it by a certain day, so I'm kind of rushing to get it done today. Going out of town for four days kind of set me back a little bit, but it was well worth it. Um, I had a great time with my family and my dogs and seeing their new house and everything. Okay, we'll wait for this to be done before we do the second chat. <laughs> okay. So part two of the chat, I know my computer's still making noise. It's old and it needs to be replaced. It just is like struggling these days. But this one is a little, this is a relevant topic because it's kind of the reason why I've been putting off working on my book because I hit a chapter that I've basically been skipping every time I've been going through revisions. It's because, um, not because I've been like avoiding, well actually yes, because I've been avoiding revising this chapter, but it's because I need to like make a decision on something before I'm able to revise this. So if you just stumbled across this video and you don't know anything about my project, briefly. I'm writing a companion book to my novel The Anti-Virginity Pact and The Anti-Virginity Pact follows a senior in high school and it's more of like a coming of age young adult story. Its companion novel is following Joanna, the best friend of the girl, the main character in the first book, when she's in college and it switches off between her freshman year of college and her senior year of college. So this companion book is more new adult college aged and it's more focused on the romance whereas the first book was more of like a coming of age. So the second book, it's a little more mature and again, more focused on the romance and it's basically a different genre, different category at least. So I've had to make some decisions with that or I need to make some decisions with that. And it's been more difficult than I realized. Specifically, if you know anything about romance books, if you know more than I do, which odds are some of you do, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comments. Um, there are what a lot of people refer to as heat levels within romance and I think there are five pretty widely accepted heat levels. So level one being like a sweet or clean romance. I personally don't like the idea of labeling a romance clean because it doesn't have sex in it because I feel like that leads to some negative connotations for other things. But sweet or clean romance is level one where there's not really anything happening on the page. There might be like a kiss or something like that. but nothing really happens. Nothing like steamy whatsoever in those books. And then on the other end, level five, I don't know if there's a difference between level five and erotica or if erotica is a step up from level five, but level five is like the really steamy, really graphic books. I'm thinking maybe a level five is more plot outside of the sex, whereas erotica is usually based around the sex, if that makes sense. So anyway, I am trying to decide, um, because this is my first time writing more new adult instead of young adult, where I'm comfortable on that scale writing and what heat level I want my books to have. Which sounds like a basic thing, but it's been an interesting thing for me to figure out is, you know, what level feels authentic to the book? What level am I comfortable writing? And then realizing that maybe the level that I'm comfortable writing isn't even the same level that I'm comfortable reading. So it's just been trying to figure out, I'm definitely not level one and I'm definitely not level five. So I'm somewhere in the middle. So now I'm trying to figure out at my level two, three, or four, which then corresponds to like how much detail do I go into with these scenes. Therefore, the scene that I am stuck on is a more steamy scene with these characters and I'm trying to decide how far am I going with this? Do I want to add more detail to it? Do I want to keep it like the closed door sex scenes, you know? So that's kind of where I'm stuck with the book right now is making that decision and figuring out how, where I'm comfortable writing at like what level of detail. And there are a handful of these scenes in the book, so I kind of have to figure it out before I can revise any of them. So that's where I'm stuck. It's been an interesting thing for me to go through and like figuring out where I'm comfortable. And it's interesting that what I'm comfortable reading is not what I'm comfortable writing. <laughs> so, but then I'm also like, maybe you would be comfortable writing and you're just like two in your own head, like feeling weird about other people reading it, not just like, family and friends who read my books, but also because I have a platform and like my face is more attached with my books than I think for a lot of writers, like it's less anonymous and we're not even gonna get into the whole like pen names and stuff thing, but 
I don't know, I've just been like very much in my own head thinking about this and trying to decide where I stand and where I'm comfortable. That's what's been going on. That's why I've kind of stalled in my revisions with this draft is because I hit one of those chapters and it's a chapter that I know needs work and I need to revise and I'm just sitting here like, but which way am I gonna go with this revision? It's now five o'clock. I've put on Sleepy Hollow in the background. I got through the chapter in the draft that I was stuck on, so now we're moving on to chapter 15. And I know I was saying I wanted to work on like my Preptober stuff for my NaNoWriMo project. I've decided to take that off the to-do list. It's not gonna happen today. It's okay. We're just gonna focus on revising this book. And maybe finishing up packing these orders. I still have 10 left. <sighs> okay, so I decided to sit here and try to knock out all of the signed orders and I was worried I was gonna run out of supplies and I did. So we only have four orders left too. I have two individual ones for the anti-virginity pack. I have one for the sweetest kind of poison and poems for the end of the world and then I have one for all three. And I'm completely out of tissue paper and I only have three mailers instead of four. So that's fine. These will go in the second wave. I'm gonna get some more materials. I'm so irritated that I was off by one mailer. At least I didn't run out of like bookmarks or something because I have to special order these so that would have been like a pain to replace. Tissue paper and mailers I can get in like a day or two. So that's fine. Hello, we're in the same spot again. It's not that I don't get up from the spot, it's that I don't move my camera from from this spot so then when it's time to film I come back over here. Anyway, it's seven o'clock. We're gonna go set up either on the couch or in my bed. Haven't decided yet. Put a movie on in the background and just work on my book for the rest of the night and see how far we can get. That's the plan. I ordered some more mailers from Amazon. They're supposed to be here tomorrow and I'm gonna take the first wave of packages which you can see are stacked up right here to the post office tomorrow and stop at Target to get some more tissue paper so I can box up the last few. However, I have imported the footage of this vlog and it's already like 30 minutes of raw footage for a day and a half. I don't really know how that happened, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. If I do another vlog for this week, it'll probably be on my vlog channel, so check over there if you're interested. If you're not already following me, it's just my name, Katie Wismer. I have a link down below. If you wanna grab one of the signed books before they're all sold out, my website is linked down there. If you're not already subscribed to my newsletter, you should do that. That's where I announce everything first. And anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are doing well. I'd love to hear about something that's made you really happy lately, something good that happened to you today, something that made you smile, something you're grateful for. I love seeing that in the comments. We used to do that in the vlogs a lot. And we fell off for a little bit here, but I would love to bring it back. The thing that made me the happiest today was, today was the first full day being home and seeing just my cats so much more comfortable at home. Like I think they had a good time while we were gone, but like seeing Max laying on her back and just like being as content as can be made me really happy. I'm glad that I got almost all of the signed books packaged up because I knew that was gonna take me a long time. So I've kind of been dreading it so that's like a weight off my shoulders now that that's done. I'm glad that I finally broke through that chapter I've been stuck on in my novel and I'm thankful so many people were excited about the signed books. That was unexpected but really nice to see. So yeah, I guess I'll just see you guys in another video very very soon. Bye. So hit me. So hit me. Hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With